Miss Ali, Miss Ali. She has come back from uh, the park and she's still continuing with decoration. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing fine and you're still twatwaing. Kisha ni twatwa. Officially twatwa. I know, I know, I've not been releasing no video up in this channel, but it's because I was not feeling well. Now I am better. Few days ago, almost a week, I got um, and I went to surgery. Minor, let me say it's a minor, but every surgery is not like going to the market to buy skuma week at Mamamboga. I had gone to my usual gyna's appointment and um, they found some little growth in my uterus so she was like girl you need to go and remove them and thank god they are not cancerous so yeah and uh, i've been at home taking care of myself i thank god that my husband and my children be taking care of me my papa my david and my little boy I'd be like, Mama, I love you. At least I'd be, Mama, I love you. I don't know. They thought Mama is going to die. <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere. So, I'm yet to go back to work. And, um, I will get better soon. And that's why I always say, girls, go get your, yourself a checkup. Because you never know. If I did not go to my usual checkups, I could not have known that I have those two small growth in my uh, uterus. My mother-in-law got me this. When I came from the hospital, she got me this. And I guess there are some chocolates. We are going to open them together. Let's see. Yes. Lindor. Let's open these chocolates that my mother-in-law got me together. Whoa, this cute bow. And I usually don't throw these type of things. I usually keep them too. And I recycle them. Like when I'm, I'm gifting someone something, I just use these bows, whatever. And there we go. Ah, on my nails. Here we go. Yes, yes. Look at these chocolates that my mother-in-law got me. For uh, get quick, quick recovery gift. Hmm, and she cute. And she beautiful for bringing me all these this for me <laughs> yes all this for me i usually don't eat this kind of stuff but uh, now that i'm at home recovering i will try to eat this with the help of my children you know alisa is going to go in on this hey Hi guys <laughs> alisa and mommy over here and today what are we doing we are decorating our Christmas, Christmas tree. tree and this year we decided to have a white Christmas tree the other year it was uh, green green we've been doing a uh, green uh, Christmas tree but to, this year we decided to change yes and uh, I passed by the Chinese shop and Ali is going to show you what we got for decorations these are the pins these are the pins that you use to hang your Christmas deco and it was a uh, one euro one is a hundred bob i also saw this beautiful uh decoration since it's a white christmas tree i thought maybe our theme will be um, red and uh, red and gray and silver red and silver these are just the few ones that we got so as the days goes, I will still go back and buy some more. And uh, yeah, let's do it, Miss Ale. Our house was the only house without a Christmas tree, and these children were not having it. They were like, Mama, Mama, what were you telling Mama? And um, we want to do Christmas tree. <laughs> when are you going to do Christmas? You know, Alisa will not let you breathe. She's like, I went to my friend's house, and they have a Christmas tree. Oh, oh, oh. so finally today that I'm feeling a little better. We have decided to put up our Christmas tree. David is not here. He has He's gone, gone uh, to play football. To play football. And the girls are doing what girls need to do. You, you, but Alisa, you've not even written your Christmas uh, mm -hmm. letter for the Christmas. I do this. Um, what, what does mommy do after you write the letter? 
and take to um, the to the to the um, postal office and send it to Father Christmas to Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus will be coming to, to town. <laughs> Miss Ali, Miss Ali. She has come back from the park and she's still continuing with decoration. <laughs> Which ones do you like the most? And our theme this year is white. White Christmas tree. White, gold and red. And red, yes. And that is where Father Christmas will come to put some the gifts. Yes, this um, cotton <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yes. It's like snow. Yes. This is a symbol of snow. And uh, over here in the sitting room, I got my fire going and my clothes drying. Fire going, clothes drying. Now being winter, it's very cold. You cannot hang your clothes outside. So I usually hang them right in front of the fuoco. Fuoco is fire in Italian. But this situation is going to change because soon we are buying um clothes drying machine yes we have already ordered it's going to arrive sooner and i cannot wait because this is a dilemma don't worry that is some ashes as in every time hanging clothes like this for three months hell no and we are four in this house so you can imagine how many clothes we got oh can't wait for the dryer to be here i will show you when it comes our dryer is here yes bye bye hanging clothes in the house i've been doing that for the past 10 years uh, it came uh, yesterday saturday and um yeah i will show you how it is we have already used it once and the clothes um really dry and soft and uh, when they come out of the dry they are warm i and i sometimes even i've realized that we will not even need to iron on them they just come you remove them from the dryer you fold them and um, bam ready to wear Ta -da! there goes our dryer it is a samsung and uh, here is the manual i'm here to read as i said it arrived yesterday and uh, these are some accessories. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and uh, bam! Yay! It is uh, so awesome. Baba Ali tried it yesterday. You open like this. This is the inside. It's like 9K. It can hold 9 kgs of clothes in there. And um, let me show you. Ba -ba 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 bam! It came with those boxes. We are yet to throw them away. And that is David's ball. That is my computer area, my shoes. We are yet to throw this. But we will do and remove. These are the clothes. The first clothes that um, this dryer has uh, dried. And uh, I'm telling you, they are dry. We used to hear people saying, buy a dryer. It will save your life and they are warm by that by the who i'm showing you baba lisa's underwear <laughs> get the ready <laughs> and uh ooh, feature yeah feature yeah yeah <laughs> as in anyway let me stop joking the clothes are um, super dry and they are not even that wrinkled and when they come from the dryer they are warm this one i can literally fold them and uh, not even iron them so i am so excited for this dryer um, let me sit down and tell you one thing don't ever doubt or don't ever not believe your kids and what comes out of their mouth sometimes what, what comes out of their kids mouth is power will come to manifest i remember <laughs> when my mother would tell me to uh, wash clothes to uh, peel 
potato list seven nifanyishe tu kazi one day i will wash my clothes with a washing machine i will dry my clothes with a dryer i will peel potatoes this is even i'll peel potatoes with the um, <coughs> with a machine and i remember i was around maybe seven or eight and uh, my mother said kwenda oh boy kwenda huko <laughs> go and wash those clothes lazy girl you're just saying that so that you can, you you're not going to run away from washing clothes and uh, tada so many years later more than 20 years later i am washing my clothes with the washing machine peeling potatoes with my hands but uh, chopping it with the um, with a machine god is good though. so don't listen to your children sometimes even now my mother she laughs and she tells the neighbors this daughter when i go to canada she tells them this daughter of mine she used to say gahora agua na machine wash i will wash clothes with the machine and uh, i used to talk kwenda huko but um it has come to pass and also i used to tell my friends me tenda ngambo nyinyi i'll go abroad one day and they be like kwenda huko <laughs> you know this missing me ngambo hata hata nairobi ujenda i remember that time i was i was in nakuru as a 7 8 year old 12 year old hata nairobi yenyewe jakanyaga ngambo ndio utaenda and uh, <laughs> 20 years later i came ngambo and um, yeah just that is to tell you mtoi wako akisema kitu listen to them na usimwambie kwenda huko eneho Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and all that good stuff.